What is good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video today, ladies and gentlemen. I have a specific list for you guys. You know, we do these things sometimes where we run down some guys that we want or we need or whatever from Mattel for the WWE action figures that we love so much, right? It's the elites, the basics. Well, we don't we don't really love the basics anymore, do we? But you know what? We had to mention them there. So we got the elites or, or whatever you want to say. But uh, before we get started today, ladies and gentlemen, I do want to give a huge shout out to my boy, Unstable1047, on Instagram and YouTube. Links to both his things are in the description below instagram and youtube channel down in the description below uh he had the video idea he said you know what brad i'd like it if you made this video i said you know what brad that would be a good idea so here we are today guys with our video for today but a huge shout out to christian unstable 1047 for this video idea but uh let's go ahead and dive in today we're going to get into a different list guys we're going to get into the wwe figures that we will never ever get from mattel or i say never ever you know i guess you never know but i mean this is pretty much legit you know this this is pretty much, you just, you're probably not getting them, right? So, uh, let's go ahead and dive into the list, guys. Start it off with the most obvious one of all time. We have to start it off with one of my favorite wrestlers and performers of all time in the ring. It is Chris Benoit, the rabid Wolverine. Absolute amazing talent, obviously, in the ring. Just one of my favorite wrestlers growing up easily. Just such a talent, such a beautiful talent in the ring. Obviously, we all know what happened with his concussions and his CTE and his steroid use and thing all adding up together, and it just, it, it resulted in a tragedy that was just terrible, and obviously, it's it's horrendous and awful what he did. Um, even though we know that probably wasn't the person that he was, we know that, you know, he was a good guy and everything that, you know, just the result of the brain damage the many concussions and all of that stuff was a just a terrible terrible storm that just concluded uh, with with what happened with him and his family. But Chris Benoit is obviously a guy we will never get. He will probably never be inducted into the Hall of Fame. And it's just a sad situation, but he is definitely a guy we'll never get. And what a great figure it would be. I would love to have it. I have one Chris Benoit Custom Elite in my collection, and I love it so much um, just because I, I want to put I want to put him in the pick fed, but the reason I don't put him in the pick fed is because my pick fed has more like, I don't know, personal. Like, you know, we commentate, and like uh, there's more feeling behind it, I guess, than a regular just pictures and wrestlers fighting you know, whatever. Uh, I feel like there's more kind of like uh, feelings and emotions involved, so it's kind of difficult to do. But uh, Chris Benoit is a guy we will never, ever get from Mattel, and it's sad to see you, man. I would love to see it, but unfortunately, we will never, it will never happen. The next guy on our list today, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be Owen Hart. Now, Owen Hart is obviously the brother of Bret Hart, and uh, he was a fantastic talent, too, in the ring. It's it's so sad because these, these talents that we won't see in figure form were such great talents. It's always like the legends, right? It's always the legends that just left such an impact in the ring. But uh, I think it's it's more of like his wife has like a big deal. Like she doesn't want um, any notoriety or anything towards the tragedy that happened with him. Um, I, I don't know exactly what the story is. I know she spoke out before uh, about it and everything, but she doesn't want to sign a legends deal or a merchandise deal with WWE. And I honestly couldn't tell you why. I don't know why, but since his estate is in his wife's name and everything like that, um, he, he owns the likeness, or she owns the likeness and everything to Owen Hart now, and so uh, they, they have not allowed it. They have not allowed that to happen, so we will never get a figure of Owen Hart until his wife or whoever says that, you know, Mattel or WWE can have, you know, merchandise and stuff like that, because they would obviously make a, a ton of money off of Owen Hart. They really would, because he is a fantastic talent. He has a ton of fans still to this day, and everybody knows the legend of Owen Hart, so Owen Hart is a guy we'll never get. By the way, these customs are made by Mad Reaper, the Mad Reaper on Instagram, guys. Fantastic. He makes the best Owen Hearts I've ever seen. Him and Showstopper Custom Figs got together and made these beautiful Owen Hearts, and uh, they they are freaking fantastic. They're ridiculously talented, and they made these, so I did want to give a shout-out to them for using their pictures here, but uh, just, again, this is just kind of a sample that it could be of what we would get from a tell for Owen Hart, but unfortunately, that won't happen because of his family not allowing it or his wife not allowing us to do so, but Owen Hart is a fantastic talent that I wish we could get. Um, another guy is Nails, guys. Nails, another you know throwback guy right here. This this custom was made by J Rain Custom Figs on uh, Instagram or J Rain Wrestling Customs. Uh, absolute beast he is as well. But uh, Nails actually attacked Vince McMahon over some money back in the day, and so I think they just cut ties with Nails, man. They cut ties with him, and you know I think it's crazy because you know if none of these tragedies or these situations never happened, I know for a fact Mattel obviously would have made a Benoit by now. Mattel obviously obviously would have made an Owen Hart by now, and I think they would have made a Nails by now. I think it's easily done, but I think that Vince McMahon and WWE didn't want anything to do with Nails, so they just kind of cut him off there. 
And, you know, they, they said F it, man, and, and they got the hell out of there. So, Nails is another guy that, you know, we they just would not make. And uh, we will never get a Nails, more than likely, um, unless something just crazy happens. But I don't see it happening. Next on the list, guys, is going to be Scott Steiner. Yes, Puff Daddy right here, baby. We got Scott Steiner in the house, and I've never been a fan of the guy. I really have not, but he is a guy we probably will never get from Mattel or WWE. Um, apparently, you know, the word on the street, uh, or from his mouth, I think we've heard in interviews before, this man does not like WWE. You know, he hates WWE, and I guess uh, he doesn't like them so much that he doesn't even want to make some money. And I know that, uh, you know, the name Scott Steiner actually has some give. It has some pull and everything thing and he could probably make a little bit of money off of his likeness you know with merch and other things with WWE but uh, we won't get it man Scott Steiner doesn't like it he doesn't want to sign the contract for the merchandise deal and without the merchandise deal we can't get action figures from it I'm sure Mattel would love to make a Scott Steiner I know a lot of people would enjoy a Scott Steiner figure I wouldn't be one of those guys you know I'm not really big on him uh, I know back in the day when he used to wrestle as a tag team that was that was entertaining and that was good but I didn't like you know the pop a pump stuff and I, I don't know he's running WWE was just lackluster and terrible in my personal opinion very just boring and just I don't know I remember as a kid I was not a fan but Scott Steiner is another guy that will be on the list right here the next guy on the list, guys, is going to be Jimmy Superfly Snooka. And if you guys know me, if I see something on Instagram or something sick AF, I'll say, oh, that is Super Fire Snooka. So that's just something I wanted to plug in because I'm a stupid jackass. But Jimmy Superfly Snooka right here, guys, we have gotten figures of him in the past, but that was before he was accused. And uh, it was basically just, I think it was proven. I'm not sure if he got locked up. For, I don't think he got locked up for it, but I think there was a lot of substantial evidence that he is a murderer or that he murdered his wife. And so... So, uh, I, I don't think they'll ever make a Jimmy Superfly Snooka figure again. I don't think he'll ever really be mentioned by the company. He's kind of been blackballed like Chris Benoit has. But um, Jimmy Superfly Snooka, uh, another one of those guys that just, you know, the legendary guys. It's always the guys back in the day, man. It's always the legends in the ring that uh, always seem to have these crazy things happen. Or is it because they have these things, cra uh, crazy things happen that they become legends? I don't know, Brad. Just something. Same thing with, like, Eddie Guerrero, you know. But he's one that was actually a positive influence. But... Jimmy Superfly Snooki is another guy that will not be on the list. Uh, I, a lot of guys that I could add to this list are guys like uh, the ECW guys that we'll never get, like Raven and Balls Mahoney and uh, New Jack and guys like Sabu. I, I would love to see those guys. You know, guys that we actually got from Jax, but uh, we probably will never get from Mattel, unfortunately. I would love to see it, though, but I know there's a lot of customs out there, but... Moving on the list, guys, another guy that I would like to plug is Marty Jannetty. Now, Marty Jannetty, obviously, uh, one half of the Rockers. He was, uh, obviously, the tag team partner with Shawn Michaels, and then Shawn Michaels threw him through the barbershop window, and then it was all downhill from there for Marty Jannetty, man. I mean, like, he never really had anything else. I think ever since leaving the company, he came back in the in the Ruthless Aggression era a couple times. He had some things here and there, nothing too big, and then uh, he, I think he got, like, heavily involved in drugs, and, like, he's uploaded some crazy stuff to Facebook and social media and stuff like that. Very sad situation with Marty Jannetty, but he's a guy that we have gotten from Mattel before in the Elite 2 pack, but unfortunately, I do not think that we will ever really get one again. Um, I just think that uh, he needs some some help over there, but um, he's another guy that we probably will never get again. So if you guys can hawk down his first Elite, I think it goes for a pretty penny nowadays. I know a lot of people made a, a different version of the Rockers using the Retro Fest figure. They take the Retro Fest HBK Elite from GameStop, and then they head swap it with the Marty Jannetty, you know, to give you yourselves two different versions of Roddy, uh, Roddy Marty Jannetty in the Rockers attire or whatever. But uh, there's, there's one more guy that I want to cover real quick in the video. There's probably a few more guys that I could cover, but I do want to cover this last one, and that is Muhammad Hassan, guys. Muhammad Hassan, um, very, actually pretty talented wrestler back in the day, or back in the Ruthless Aggression era. Um, I remember growing up seeing this guy. I hated him with a passion, but uh, I think that's what made him such a good heel. But obviously, um, he when they brought him in, like some uh, real life terrorist attacks happened um, at the time of his gimmick, and it w and it was really bad timing with uh, one of his little segments um, that came out on TV. It was really terrible. It was it was terrible timing for you know Muhammad Hassan. Undertaker had a match with him, and we never saw him again. We have not seen him since. I think he like does some other things. I think he wrestled in the indies for a little bit, but then since then, we really haven't seen him. We got some good customs on the screen here. One seller from eBay, and then we got a Scribble Customs figure, I think. And both of these are really good customs of Muhammad Hassan. I've seen some really good ones here and there, but he was a pretty good talent, dude. He was really young at the time, and he was getting a lot of heat. 
Um, and I don't know, it was just, I really liked his character as far as that goes, looking back at it, but I remember at the time, I was like, get this guy off my TV, I freaking hated him, but I guess that was his job, he was doing a great job of making me hate him, unlike, uh, Trash Corbin, who is non-believable, I really believe this guy, and then Davari was such a good, you know, little sidekick and mouthpiece, even though Mohamed Hassan was a pretty good promo, in my personal opinion, um, but other guys you could throw on this list, guys, are guys like, you know, the ECW guys are the perfect example, you got Just Incredible, don't think we'll ever get him, um, just a lot of stuff and there's also some figures that uh, we should get but we don't get that I don't understand why we don't get like another guy that obviously this doesn't have to do anything with the video but I do want to plug it is guys like A-Train and what about you know Prince Albert and guys like that another guy that will probably never get just hit me in the skull is Test probably won't ever get a Test figure that's another guy I'd like to see I don't know, man. A lot of figures that we would love to see from Mattel that we probably will never get, um, but it, it is unfortunate, but you know what? Uh, that's why we have great customizers, like uh, all these different customizers in the community that absolutely kill it. But those are just the guys that I could think of for the video, guys. If you guys have any more down in the comment section, please let me know. I would love to discuss with you guys who we should get from Mattel or who we never will get, but... My number one want from this video, if you know, if Mattel came to me and said, no matter what the circumstances, you get to make this figure, I would pick Chris Benoit personally just to have him in the collection. I would love to see it. Um, I just think it would be a great figure. The head sculpt they could do, you know, we don't have to deal with the Jax figures and everything. But that is going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so very much for watching another huge shout out to my boy Christian Unstable1047 for the video idea for today. I really appreciate it. But uh, that is going to do it, guys. I'm going to go get to filming some more Hell's Gate. Really trying to grind on it and get that shit finished. I mean, my God. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE action figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyNameToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.